What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Rich Nice back again. So today we're in the Jeep. Uh, we had a code pop up, which is a P0303, which is a number three engine misfire. So we're going to re, uh, try to diagnose it and see what the problem is. It's going to be one of two things. Either the spark plug is bad or the coil pack itself may be bad. So we're going to look at both of those today. Uh, and see if we can replace those. Hopefully it's just a coil pack. It'll be an easy fix, easy kill, and we'll be done. But I'll show you what uh, what the code looks like. So this is a little cheap uh, code reader that we got off of uh, Amazon, and I'll put the link in the description. Basically it just says turn on any key, press any button. It'll go through its diagnostics. All right, so we're going to hit read code. We're going to hit enter. We're going to hit enter again for stored codes. And that's the P0303 that I was talking about, engine 3 misfire. So we'll see if we can fix that. Uh, I apologize for this thing being dirty. This is my wife's daily driver, so it is what it is. So first thing we're gonna do is put this cover off. Set it up All right, so when you're looking at the front of the Jeep, uh, this is a 3.6 liter. Uh, so your number one cylinder is up front here. So it goes one, two, three, four, five, six. So your odd banks are on the passenger side, the even banks are on the driver's side. So, uh, let me see if I can get in here real close. So, this coil pack right here is our number three cylinder. This is number one coil pack. This is number three. So basically, we need to take these two bolts off here, move this rail up out of the way. Hopefully, we can get to it. Uh, then that should allow us access to these coil pack and there's a 10 millimeter bolt that is right there not sure how well y'all can see that uh, and then there's a plug that's right here and then we just kind of twist this and pull it off and hopefully we can put the new one in and fix the problem so uh, let's get to it Try not to drop your bolts so you don't have to fish them out. This will just move up out of the way. Yep, just like that. Give us enough room for access. Again, there's a 10 millimeter bolt here. 
ってます。And this hose just has a little clip that pops in right here. So you just pop it out. We've got our boat loose. So basically we just got to, um, so it's coming out. We just got to unclip it right there. Uh, and then we'll be good. And this is the clip. So I'll unclip it because I need two hands for that and probably a screwdriver, uh, but we'll be back. All right, we finally got the old one out. Clip was a little booger, uh, but we got it out. So we'll stick the new one in, clear the code, and uh, see if we can fix it. And I did get these off of Amazon. So I got six of them. I also got some E3 spark plugs. Hopefully we won't need those. Uh, <clears throat> but I'm going to stick this in, see if this fixes the problem. Uh, while we're over here, we'll probably replace these two uh, in order to replace the three on the driver's side. You have to take this whole plastic intake off and that's a whole nother story. Trust me. Yeah. So I will put this back in. And then we'll go inside, clear the code, and see if we can get it to uh, replicate the uh, code again. So we'll know if we fix the problem. If not, we'll have to pull this back out, change spark plugs, so on and so forth. So here we go, and here goes nothing. All right, we got our new coil pack in. We got, our pl we got it plugged in. Uh, we got it screwed down, brand new screw. This just pops back into this little hole right there. These fuel lines just pop back on these brackets. And then these two little 10 little nuts go back on. One goes here. One goes here. And I'm not using my Milwaukee, not sponsored, uh, just because this is plastic and I don't want to over torque it or anything like that. So we'll use our trusty uh, Pittsburgh ratchet. And some of y'all may wonder why I have tape on the bottom of here. It just helps hold the nut uh, inside the actual socket itself and keep it from falling. Especially when you're putting it on or taking it off uh, so you don't have to spend three hours trying to retrieve it. We got it in, so now we can go back inside, clear the code, and see if we can uh, help it pop up again. All right, we are back in. Turn our ignition back on. Come over to our programmer. Uh, again, that was the code. We're gonna hit exit. We're gonna go down to uh, exit one more time and go down to the section option, which is erase code. So we're gonna hit enter. It says the uh, erase trouble codes. Are you sure? Yes, hit enter again. 
the code is erased. So now when we start our Jeep, our engine light should go out. So I'm gonna turn this back off. Take it and put it in neutral. Turn it back on and start it. But I be John Brown, engine light is off. So we'll have to have the wife drive it around to see if it uh, comes back on. Uh, so I'll update you and uh, I think we'll just go ahead and replace the rest of the core pack because they're pretty easy on the passenger side. Driver side is a whole nother thing. All right, YouTube, I went ahead and replaced all three of these on this side. You can see the new bolts for all three of them. Um, that side over there is gonna be a, have to be a separate video because it's a nightmare um, just to take that intake manifold off. Uh, but I'll show you what the old versus the new looks like. All right, so this is your old. You can see it's all dusty and dirty. This is your new. You see a new bolt. It's nice and silver, nice and shiny, which my wife likes to go take her Jeep through the water and mud and everything else, so it won't last long. But anyway, that's the old and the new. Again, we'll probably have to do a part two to do the other side. Uh, but we're just trying to get it fixed long enough so she can get back and forth to work. And then one of these weekends, I'll just have to bite the bullet and go out and do it. So, yeah. Uh, so, as always, to all the people that just subscribed to me here in the last month or a couple of weeks, I really appreciate it. Uh, continue to uh, look forward to you seeing some of my videos upcoming in the future uh happy holidays all that good stuff because it's that time of year be safe till the next one peace one love